I fell so many times that my butt is actually in so much pain right now. <laughs> Oh, it's cold here though. It's like 18 degrees outside or something. All right, let's learn. Yeah, let's watch Cindy. Let her put her boot in. No, no, watch out. You're going. Put one. Put your back foot in only. Huh? Put only your back foot in. Or your front foot in, sorry. Your front foot. I was like, what? They're yeah, like this. So just your right foot if you're goofy. I did not film yesterday after we got back because I fell so many times that my butt is actually in so much pain right now. <laughs> and I was exhausted yesterday, but I woke up today and my body doesn't feel as sore as I thought it would, but it still really hurts. So I'm, I don't know how I feel about snowboarding again today. We'll see how it goes. I think I'll go up and then if I fall again on the same spot, then I'll just call it quits. <laughs> We're slowly getting up now. It's 9.30. I think we might go to a diner or somewhere to get breakfast before we head back to the slopes. Um, but it's definitely colder today. Like it's snowing outside and I'm a little bit nervous for driving, but I think it should be fine. Something to keep in mind if you ever go to Jiminy Peak in Massachusetts is that we did a two-day rental for this trip, but the resort told us that we would have to keep the equipment for the entirety of the two days. Um, I'm not sure if that's normal for resorts on the East Coast, but in California, they'll typically have places to store your rental overnight. But anyways, luckily we managed to fit five snowboards, a pair of skis, and six people into our SUV. But that's definitely something just to be aware of in case you also do a multi-day rental at Jiminy Peak. Okay, we're going. We're live. Clearly, you can tell from these clips that on the second day, I just got really scared and nervous. Because my butt was already hurting so badly, I was super anxious and wanted to avoid any more intense falls and honestly just stopped having as much fun because of it. So after my first run down, I decided it would just be better if I switched to skiing, which I'm a lot more familiar with so that I could basically just enjoy the rest of the trip with my friends. <laughs> I'm
right next to me Guess I'm missing all your energy That's all I want That's all I want Promise I am not your enemy I just need another memory That's all I want Thought I would give a tour of the Airbnb We're about to check out, but Wow, it's all white and snowy outside Here's the kitchen This is one bedroom Has two beds this is the bathroom, someone's inside. Over here, there's like a nice living room. That's where we were eating our dinners. And then this is the room that Victor and I slept in. Um, it was pretty nice. It gets really hot at night though. Look at all this decor. Pretty much the master bedroom. Apparently this bed has mirrors on the top. And this is like a cool living room to hang out in. That chest was a little creepy. And then this is like a workroom. They didn't really have Wi-Fi though, which is strange for Airbnbs these days, but nice day overall. We were around 30 minutes away from Jiminy Peak, so not a really bad drive. And also it wasn't windy at all, um, even though it was like kind of snowing and stuff these days. Felt really safe driving, so. The mountain was pretty good as well. There were a lot of slopes and stuff, but surprisingly a lot of walking on the slopes because they were pretty flat even at the top. But overall, we had a really good experience. My butt is so bruised. Honestly, I might insert just like a small picture of it because there's a huge black splotch, but <laughs> pretty funny. Mm -hmm.